very good. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh to Dr. Dayang. Today we are from group one and our topic is on a study based on the fly orientation of carbon fiber reinforced wing box of the aircraft wing. And my name is Hani Abdullah Nahadi and these are the members of my team. Next. So first for the objectives, the objectives are to study the fly sequence for the carbon fiber reinforced wing box of the aircraft wing. Second is to estimate stresses at the size and surface of a wing box and to, and to determine the safety of the wing using failure criteria. Okay, so for, uh, why is wing box stress analysis is important? Because the wing box design can present significant hurdles to aircraft development in some cases. And if it is too heavy, a common problem when people are trying to exceed the tolerance for handling stresses, it can interfere with the function of the aircraft. Additionally, the components can take up significant space in the plane, limiting room for cargo and passengers. So for the plan will be the, the Boeing 737-700 is the reference plane and the selected aircraft, aircraft part is the wing box. And the Boeing 737 uses cantilever wings. Uh, to, to determine the wing load, we know that the weight W is equal to mg. M is the mass, G is the gravitational force, and like I have mentioned that Boeing 737, 700, 700 is involved. So it can, the, this Boeing can carry a load of 263,380 kilogram, which the, is the mass M and the gravitational force, the G is 9.81 meter per second square. So W is equal to MG, M multiplied G. So the weight will be to, to 5837578.8 Newton. And for the aircraft wing, since the basic theory that we have learned that lift equal to the total weight, so the desired load factor is equal to one. And the safety factor for the aircraft component is normally 1.5. And for the total design load equal to weight multiplied by the design load factor multiplied by the safety factor. So from the, from the value that we obtained before, the total design load will be equal to 3x7565536.7 Newton. But the leaf load distribution is 80% on the wings and 20% on the fuselage. So that, therefore, total load acting on the wing is equal to total design load multiplied by 80%. So the total load acting on the wing equal to 3100509.36 Newton. But this value is for two wings, it's for the both side of the wings. So we have to divide it by two to get the each side of the wing will be equal to 1550254.68 Newton. All right, next. Okay, and these are the properties that we have obtained. Start. Uh, the product is the carbon fiber. So for the tensile strength is 327 gigapascal. Tensile modulus is 200 to gigapascal. Compressive strength is 1 to 3 gigapascal. Compressive modulus is 100 to 300 gigapascal. Density is around 1.7 to 2 gram per centimeter cube. And shear modulus is around 10 to 15 gigapascal. And the last one is the yield strength is 2.5 gigapascal. The yield strength is very important, is the most important one because this project we use one Mrs. stress and one Mrs. stress is the value used to determine if a given material will yield or fracture. That's why the yield strength is very important to determine whether it's fracture or not. All right. All right, so uh, to take a look at the fly sequences, let's uh, examine the fly stacking strategy. So the first rule is the stacking must be balanced and symmetric on the laminate. The symmetric laminates help to avoid thermal twisting of parts as they cool down after curing. 
And uh, having zero and 90 degree angle plies can actually increase the actual and transverse fitness. The outer ply should uh, always contain, like if the outer plies contain the set of fibers uh, at plus and minus 45 degree, which means it increases torsional stiffness and buckling resistance. So for the ply layout sequences, we have chosen the five sequence, one following the rule one and two, which is zero and 90 degrees for actual and transverse stiffness. And then the 45 degree at sides, uh, because uh, this one is like, it increases torsional stiffness. Here, the 90 degree angle in between is not really avoided, but in the highlighted, uh, the ply sequence is highlighted in green. It follows the rule one, three and five, uh, three and four, which is the, the stacking must be balanced and symmetric and zero and 90 degree. I mean, the outer ply should be a plus and minus 45 degrees and 90 degree change of angle between two edges and piles is to be up. So this is the answers analysis. Our length is actually uh, seven meters. Examples of how to do steps. And for the results, uh, for the ply sequence highlighted in yellow, we have the deformation here. Deformation always occurs at the wing tip for all the results obtained. So as we can see here, here the deformation is maximum. That is uh, 323.73 mm. And if we take a look at the one mesh stress, here the stress distribution is uniform but the maximum stress is at the wing root, which is close to the fuselage. And the maximum bone mass stress here is 27.652 megapascals. And for the uh, ply sequences highlighted in green, uh, highlighted in blue, this is the deformation. We can see that uh, 342.93 mm and the maximum one mesh stress is 29.689 megapascals. And here we can see that the stress distribution is uniform, but it, it gets interrupted in between. Yeah. Uh, for the next ply sequence too, which is again highlighted in blue, it's the same case as at the second ply sequence. So for the ply sequence highlighted in green, we have the deformation again at the wing tip again, 340.19 mm. And the stress distribution is non-uniform. The maximum bone mass stress is 32.001 megapascals. Next, again, the ply sequence highlighted in green. We have the same scenario. The deformation is 338.42 mm, and the maximum one mesh stress is 33.727 mm. Even here, the stress distribution is non-uniform. So let's take a, take a look at the table. We have created a table. Here we can see that I have highlighted the lowest maximum one mesh stress as in blue color, and the highest one in red color. Yeah. But this, this is the minimum value, the lowest value for the maximum one mesh stress is for the third ply sequence. The second lowest is for the first ply sequence. And the maximum deformation has lowest value at the uh, for the five, uh, first ply sequence again. So this, this would be the best for us. Let's take a look at the trend graphs. As we can see here, for the first ply sequence and third ply sequence, the maximum one mesh stress values are the lowest here. And for the first ply sequence, the maximum deformation is really low. The others are high. So uh, for all the, all the ply sequences, 
per load of uh, 1550.52 kilonewtons. The one mesh stress does not exceed the yield strength, which is 2.5 gigapascals. So the failure does not occur. Since the failure occurs when the one mesh stress reaches the value equal to the yield strength or higher. The ply sequence is 0, 2 times and 92 times, 0, 0, 92 times, and 0 degrees 2 times in symmetric. Give the lowest maximum deformation and the second lowest maximum one mesh stress, which is almost close to the lowest maximum one mesh stress, which is uh, 27.652 megapascals. And yeah, it's almost close to 27.3. So the stress distribution was also uniform and the maximum stress was at the wing root, whereas the maximum deformation was at the trailing edge. This is because the deformation in one mesh stress is a tension that acts actually. So the use of more number of zero degree angle in a fly actually results in the actual stiffness leading to the lowest deformation as well as the low one mesh stress. And also the maximum deformation for all fly sequences are lower than the length of swing box, which is uh, 11,500 mm or 11.5 meters. And the use of carbon fiber is considered useful since the carbon fiber has very high yield strength and the wing box will not plastically deform. Therefore, our wing box is considered safe for the flight since the maximum one mesh stress is between 27 to 34 megapascals and the maximum deformation was between 323 to 342 millimeters. So in conclusion, like, Actually, the zero and 90 degree plies are considered the best one, which is highlighted in yellow. That, that's considered the best ply sequence of all. So conclusion. Okay, so we are now for in the conclusion part. So in conclusion, the Boeing 737-700 has been used as a reference plane and the wing box is used as an aircraft component. At the support or side walls, the stresses are always higher. Additionally, for the ply sequences analyzed, the maximum one mesh stress is lower than your yield strength, which is 2.5 gigapascal. And the use of more zero degree angle in the in ply result in the axial strictness leading to the lowest deformation as well as the low one mesh stress. And the analysis shows that the wing box satisfies the theoretical requirements, making it safe for the flight. So therefore, the objectives have been achieved and the aircraft wing box is safe for the flight. So, so okay. we will be adding the video link here and this will be emailing it to Dr. Vail. Thank you, honey, for joining right. the meeting. All right, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, doctor.